So, really enjoying Frostpunk. The game's coming out for everyone on the 11th of October. I've got early access at the moment on Xbox and PlayStation. That's where it's going to be appearing. Enjoy it. The third part of my bulk recording I did. I do go a little bit quiet sometimes. I realise maybe I should keep them a bit shorter so I've got a bit more energy. But I'm really into the game and I'm just really trying to work out bits and bobs of how to work and how to keep my survivors surviving. Right, we've got to build a workshop, build a beacon. Okay, let's start thinking about that stuff as well. So, the workshop is one of these ones. Resource depot. Oh no, we need 20 steel for that. The workshop, there we go. Oh, we can build a workshop. Oh, perfect. Just the right space for it as well. Hopefully, I'll get cracking on that. Are they going to get cracking on that? Is someone going to get cracking on that? Yeah, they are. So, when they're, look, when they're back at the base and stuff, they will... They will start building a lot more as long as they're at home okay day four so it's pretty cold at the moment it's dropping and dropping and dropping it's going to drop for a couple of days so really can't have them out and about and survivors of the lost expeditions where are these survivors so i've got like everyone gathering all these resources Oh, we've put, we've put a dead body in that one already, have we? That's the gathering post. I've got no one here. No one at the gathering post. Yeah, we'll, go on, we'll put the kids there. We'll put the kids at the gathering post. I've got no one at them, them gather, that wooden post either. Right, okay, so this will get research. The research post is going to have groups and tiers. So you do one tier, so you get 100% research speed, 130, okay. Okay, so right, let's take a look then. So, oh, ooh, ooh, steam hub. When powered by the generator, these contraptions create additional small heat zones around them. Okay, so we could put that further away, so when the cold does set in, and we're, they're out of the ring of warmth, then, then buildings can carry on working. Yeah, that makes sense. Or just straight up heaters. Oh, this one just consumes coal a lot quicker. So it's either Steam Hub does it on its own, it consumes three coal per hour, so it will generate in a wider sphere, a wider circle around it, so basically powering up more buildings with heat. Or we just allow every building to have heaters. Yeah, I we'll do that one. But we'll need to employ engineers. All right, so some of these, I've got people here that maybe shouldn't be doing it yet. So we'll take them off there. We'll put them there. Yeah, bosh. And, oh, I didn't research the, uh, the actual research thing, did I? That's the technology tree. Okay, right. Right, I've got to hold it. There we go. We started that one. And what's going on with this? Oh we, oh, we need engineers for that too. Okay, so we've got engineers. Yeah, let's take you. And we'll put one there, like that. And we've we got any other engineers that I could use that I've probably been using in the wrong spot. No, there's people there. No, what about you? Yeah, yeah, we don't need these engineers working there. Let's get them into the right zones. Yeah, let's just get the medical post functioning. Absolutely, and fill that one up as well. Okay. All right, all right. We've got this. I've got this workforce. Little tutorial. Some people in such medical posts work for us require mental labour from the most employed there. Workers only provide manual. Okay, so engineers are for like the more advanced stuff. They can't be employed at all initially for children. Your workforce distribution is shown in the top right corner when you press square. Square, square, square. So Hunter's Hut only employs workers. Cookhouse employs both engineers and workers. E.g. the workshop only employs engineers. Okay. So at the moment, I've got five idle children. No older workers. Workers. Oh, mate, am I speaking? What is going on? Well, these kids have got to go. <laughs> Gotta go. They've not gotta go. They've got to go. They've got to start earning their keep though. George, Georgie, Paul G. Ah, temperature requirements. Oh, it's getting, it's getting cold. Oh god. Okay, this is my first test. So 
let's take a look at the, the, the heat. Oh, oh, it's really cold. So, so now we can boost this to one. Need 12. Uh, have I not got 12 coal? Not researched yet. Oh, damn it. There we go. I've put the overdrive on. And that's going to hopefully get us okay till tomorrow. Right. Oh, but I, I, yeah. Right. We need we need that researched. The workshop. It's pretty cool to test. I like the buildings. It's really cool. Right. Workers. Yeah. Actions. So where's the research then? Let's do the research. The info technology tree. Okay, so we're doing that. So there must be another option that I missed. Fast gathering coal thumper. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, so I'll put that in overdrive. Extreme certainty can be put in overdrive. This creep the heat provides will unstress. Generate explode. Oh god, right, I've got to be careful. Oh, sugar. Right. So that could explode at any time. Okay. Well everyone's alright at the moment. Although it is cold, I've got that extra heat being generated, although it's not being generated in the actual buildings. Um I guess more roads? Maybe let's get some more roads going on. Streets. I keep calling it roads. I mean, they are streets. That's what they are. Um, yeah, because everything's got to be better when it when it's got a street attached to it. So, yeah. Yeah, these guys, there's there's a lot of action going on here. So let's, let's do there, like that. Okay, we're getting good. We're getting good. Now, where are these people's temperature requirements? Orange circle around jump shows the range of the heat zone. Buildings like need to be at least chilly. Okay, so with the wavy lines, it's too low for the building to function. Okay, let's take a look at them, what, what's going on. So, well, they're all right. It's cold. That one's chilly. That one is cold. Oh no, cold's worse than chilly. Cold is worse than chilly. We're doing some good stuffs. Yeah, I'm gonna stop. We'll stop gathering some of these resources. I've only got five people gathering it, but oh, oh, what's going on? What's going on? Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach a seat with the main group. They're out there. She wants to first join the first scout team sent out. Okay, so scout team. So. Where, how, do, how do I find people then if they're lost and stuff? What's that about? A child got distracted in work and had been injured. The accident was not serious and happened entirely due to child's carelessness. The child won't work for 24 hours. Hope will rise slightly. So we can either give the kid a day off or we could scold the kid for being careless. Okay, we'll give him a day off. So everyone else will starve, yeah? Everyone else will starve. We've only got eight food rations. I think we, we we need more hunters and stuff. I've definitely got my, my people maybe spread out a little bit. Yeah, so at the moment, let's bring that down. We don't need five workers there because it's cold anyway, so they can't really go and do anything about it. You guys can't go and work anyway because it's cold. Let's just take them all off. Oh, God, my frostbite. Oh, God, everyone's dying on me. Yeah, we'll do that there. I still need lots of wood, though, of course. It's all, it's all, they all need it. Is this where it was, where it was? Okay, well, how do I put a, a blanket on people working? What do I want to do? Efficient trackers, current efficiency. Okay. Well, you know, I don't want people dying, but I, I've got much, not choice. Let's bring everyone down. Let's, let's, let's get, bring everyone back then. Let's see if this works. Yeah, let's bring the children back. There we go. Heat is researched. Okay, good. Oh, there we go. So we've got we've got it now. We can we can send it. Gathering post now. We'll have we'll have some workers there. Yeah, let's have some workers there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hopefully they'll have. Uh, they can do what they've got to do. We'll have the kids there again. And let's put as many as we can at the moment into the hunting. And yeah, ten of them. And that one. See, we've got a bit of heat going out from here. Oh, it's minus 40 degrees though. No wonder they're getting cold or frostbitten. It's like proper cold, proper chilly. Um, hope is fading last. I need to increase the hope somewhere. What can we do? We can research something else. Right, we need something else. I need some way to heat people up more. 
Can we go to the next one? Drawing board? Yeah, there we go. That's going to take a while as well, though. Okay. Right, everyone's getting a bit sick, though. I mean, it's going. We've, we've got things going on. So we've got five there. Oh, there's more stuff going on as well now. Shift is ending. Okay, right. Resource management is crucial to city survival. We need coal to power generate wood and steel. Steam cores are part of advanced building. Raw food is used before rations. Oh, this person's sick if they're not getting treated properly. Well, I've got, I've got. Oh, did I not set up the medical thing? I don't think I did. You know? No, I did. Medical post. We've got five people working there, so that's all right. Can we put the heaters on? Is that a thing? Do I need to put the heaters on? Yeah, everyone's a bit comfortable. Chilly stockpiles. I can't do anything about the heat in the stockpiles, apparently. Okay, well, what about you guys? Can I put the heating on in you? There we go. Man, I wish they'd do that automatically. That would be like the main thing to do. Gathering post. Yeah, there we go. So the heating's on on them. Slowly working some of this stuff out. We don't need, in fact, we don't need the heating on that one. It's still warm enough. Livable. Livable, livable, livable. Is it like with the heating on, is that still actually going to be cold, like warm enough? Everyone's going to get their food for the night. Oh, man. Oh, but we're close. We've only got one more day before it starts getting a bit warmer again. And uh, we can hopefully go and try and find these these people. So it fills up pretty quickly. Like, I mean, there's lots of grids and stuff. Maybe it doesn't fill up that much. But already we seem to be taking up quite a lot of space. I'm hoping these resources just don't ever run out. Oh, my overdrive is nearly on. Off. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, so the overdrive is the only thing that's keeping everyone warm at the moment. Even with the temperature on, these, these guys are still cold. Okay, let's build the beacon. Build beacon. The beacon. I don't know where the beacon is. It says build it. Build the beacon. Right, hopefully we're going to get through the rest of this cold. I mean, it hasn't really gone colder because it's night time. That's one good thing. But where's... How do I turn the beacon on? Oh, I've got something else going on now as well. Right, what's going on? Mother has used to let her daughter go to work. If I should get injured, we could look the other way this time, but I was might say it's unfair. Nothing will change. Hope. We do need a bit of hope. We do need a little bit of hope. I feel like we, we, we do. And that's going up really high as well. Oh, we're so close to day six. Once we're at day six, I'm going to turn the overdrive off. I'm going to turn it off now. Ooh, yeah, they can go a few hours. They can go a few hours of being cold. One hour of being cold, anyway. So, it's a lot to manage, actually. It's much more than I thought it would be. Like, within individual buildings and turning them off and stuff. Turn off, increase power, overdraft. I don't think that's going to reset. Right, everyone's back to work now. Okay, so... And it's nearly that, that like I said, one more day to go. Oh, maybe it was a bit too early. Maybe it has been a bit too early. I'm going to have to put the, the thing on the back again. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Just keep everyone going. Well, I probably don't need it on right now. Because they're, they're all off and they're doing their thing anyway. No, I'll keep them on. I'll keep them on. No, this still ain't, this still ain't getting in. Well, we did build um, heaters. How do, I, how do I increase it more? I want to increase the heat more. I've got a fair amount of food and rations now, though. That's good. So, yeah, our resources are alright as well. Okay, let's make another law. One more law to go. Then I think we're done for this video. Okay, so we've done that. We've got the extended shift. Child labour. All the kids. Oh my god. We could do that. We could do that. Soup. Yeah, let's have, let's have some soup and stuff. Hope we'll fall slightly. Yeah, let's do it. Let's make some soup. Oh no! All my life it's been thin, growing empty promises. That's right, it is a harsh life. That's what you are. I remember people. Like, you know, it's cold and chilly. 
Wood crates depleted. Oh, we have. We've completed depleted a, a resource. What happens then when you've depleted it all? What's that? Is that something shining? No, still haven't found them people either. Right, where's the beacon? I don't understand the beacon. Oh, 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 oh. right, we've got to turn it off. Oh, okay, right, I've turned it off. I've turned it off, I've turned it off, I've turned it off. Should I turn it off completely? It's like the middle of the day and there's people just standing around not doing much. Okay, let's, we've got to start thinking then. I think I've got like workforce not doing much. Yeah, look, I've got like 10 people not doing much. Right, you go and get that lot then. And yeah, 10 of it there. And oh, the coal is starting to run out a little bit. So where did I put the coal deposit? There was a big coal deposit there, was there? Yeah, I think it was there. And we'll have the rest there. Yeah. And I, may, I feel like we should probably get another hunting lodge going on. Yeah, because look, we're not, we've not got enough of the rations coming through. And I still need... I haven't worked out how to place these new units then. Like, I thought I researched them. But where's... Where can I not build them? See info. I've got 12 sick people. One's about to croak it. Five being treated. Day six temperature will rise. It's all going to go up. Okay. One desirable session. One controversial law. Cold at home, bad healthcare, cold at work. Promise is broken. Oh god, so it all increases as it goes up. All right. Five idle engineers. Right, we'll get to it, lads. Maybe another. Well, I'll send them there. Let's put some of you boys on there. Drawing boards research. Okay, cool. People have become empties as a result of serious frostbite, work accidents, other mishaps, or become gravely ill. But they still need to be housed and fed. Oh god. Oh god. How many amputees have I got then? I've only got 15 hours worth of coal as well. Alright, we'll have a look. Let's take a look. 12 sick amp amputees. Okay. Well, only one. Only one amputee at the moment. So yeah, it was a bit, bit misleading there. Right, we've got drawing boards. Generate power, allow us to raise the temperature in all heat zones by one level. Okay, but it's double consumption. That's it. We'll research that. Oh, and this poor dude. So we've got the care house. That's one option. Or the prosthetics, eventually. Well, I can't do anything at the moment. So you'll have to wait. Nine hours. And there we go. I've, well, I've survived. I'm, I'm pretty much done a lot better than I did the first time I ever played this game. Um... We, we, we are just about surviving. It's nearly day seven. Temperatures should be rising now, very soon. So hopefully it means we're going to get enough coal, enough wood. I like this. This is good. It's good. It's intricacies there. Definitely it could be a bit difficult. I might even do a little tutorial for you guys. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think about the game. Let me know what you think about playing more games like these on my channel. And uh, go and follow me on Mixer, where I'll be live streaming this as well later on this week. Go and check out my schedule on the Community tab. That's where you'll see my schedule posted every single week on a Sunday. Until next time, Ratbags, this has been Frostpunk. Stay tuned for this coming very soon. Laters!